emotional day has it sunk in yet i don't think it has yet it kind of it was towards the end when i was when i was coming off it was uh, getting emotional but um yeah wait till tomorrow on tuesday and then let's just see where i'm at i think that'll be when it really hits us uh, a tough decision when was it made it was made what a couple of weeks ago i am um, well actually it was last week i saw i went to see the consultant and he basically just said yeah you need to stop um so yeah, I wanted to play one last game at home for the fans. And, yeah. Um, so yeah, it was a, a tough decision, but again, it was one that I needed to make. And a fantastic send-off from uh, the work in Red's family. Oh yeah, it was, it was absolutely brilliant. It was, I was choked up. It was, I've been overwhelmed with the messages I've been getting, and today was no different. It was, it was really good. Was there a tear or two at the end? <laughs> there was, not to start with, and then I was walking towards the tunnel, and I could feel myself going, and I was like, oh God. And, uh, but I finally went in the changing room. <laughs> Uh, it all started about 2011. Can you remember how it all came about? Yeah, how long ago it was. Um, I think one of my first games was at left back, was it not? At Colwyn Bay. <laughs> one of them, and um, I think I cost us three goals. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a, a long career. <laughs> uh, I remember a friendly against Hartlepool, and there's somebody called Nobby Solano playing for the opposition. Do you remember yeah. putting him over the fence? Yeah, I've not had a Christmas card off him actually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was. Uh, I think he'd taken a really bad touch, which is his first bad touch all game. And um, yeah, it was a bit of a naughty tackle really, but it's one of them. <laughs> uh, plenty of memories. What's your favourite? Oh, it's got to be last year. Like, yeah. Promotion yeah. was unbelievable. Yeah. So yeah, that was definitely the highlight. Uh, what about the characters that you've met over the years? Oh yeah, there's been plenty. Like fans and players, managers. It's yeah. um, met some really great people. Some not so great, but that happens. And some, there's some great guys in that changing room. Football is all about ups and downs and highs and lows. Um, what was the low point? You mentioned oh, uh, last season has been one of the highs. Had a couple of low points. There was um, well, two relegations. Yeah. The the one under Ian McDonald that was that was particularly hard. Um, and the following year, I had a, a torrid year. I think it's no secret, I had a nightmare of the year. And so that was a low point for me, definitely. Well, you bounced back these last four or five seasons. Yeah. Uh, consistency, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I've tried. I think when Danny's come in, and to be fair, he's, he's completely changed the club perception yeah. of just everything he's done. He made it more professional. He's, so a big shout out to Danny, the way he's gone, out, gone about things, definitely. I've uh, got you down as 21 goals, 8 of those at Borough Park, 13 away. Really? Which your favourite goal? Oh, it's got to be Stourbridge in the playoff semi final, I think. It was last minute of the game, 2 1 down. Right. That was a, that was up there as a highlight, definitely. Uh, my favourite was the uh, FA Cup goal at South Shields. Oh, yeah. It was a sublime header from uh, an assist from your old mate. <laughs> yeah, another assist from Connor. I feel like all the assists have come from Connor. Yeah, for well, all he'll probably tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah he does let me know. <laughs> yeah, no, I enjoyed that one. That was a good one. Uh, what does the future hold? You've been a sportsman all your life. Will you have you any other sporting interests that you'll fall back on? No, I keep saying I'm going to take up golf, but I don't think you want the patience for that. Right. Not, as a, not very aggressive game, is it? So I don't know. I'll have to have a little think. <laughs> Twelve seasons. Does it does it feel that long at times? When you get towards my age, yeah, and you've got a, a Saturday, Tuesday, it does feel like a long time, but like I said, I can remember games when I first started and, yeah. It's 331 competitive games, adding 50 or 60 friendlies, and it's well over 400 times you've pulled on that shirt. Dan Wordsworth, warrior, captain, leader, legend, thank you so much. Thanks very much, cheers, appreciate it.